What's up guys, Alex is here at GuitarForest.com with another lesson on Volbeat. The song is The Devil's Bleeding Crown and uh, this lesson is dedicated to Phil the Mongol McPhee who has uh, requested and supported this uh, song so big thanks goes out to him. Uh, this is a pre pretty cool song. Um, we're gonna cover all of the uh, parts including the solo as well and uh, the uh, tablature and the backing track as a bundle gonna be available at GuitarForest.com for purchase, the link is going to be in the description box down below. Also, if you would like to check out the cover playthrough of this song, I'm going to post it to my other channel. Um, if you would like to check it out for structure and whatnot, and whatnot, the link is also going to be in the description box down below. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. Uh, the tuning for this song is going to be D standard, so one whole step down on all the strings. And um, for the uh, sound I was using the same thing, the VST plugin guitar rig. I'm going to show you the picture of, of the preset right now. And uh, while you are checking it out, I'm going to play you my low E string, which is D. Uh, so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. So without further ado, let's go for the close-up and start this lesson. Alright, so the intro part goes like this. Okay, so here what we're going to be doing, we're going to be playing uh, power chords starting off from the C sharp power chord and um, also keep in mind that the rhythm here is instead of straight eighth notes we have a swing feel to it so the first note is longer and the second note is shorter so we have this okay so starts off with the C sharp power chord and we play it three times uh, quarter notes then we go into the eighth notes and we play the C sharp chord, going down to the B and getting back to the C sharp again and uh, playing it for two times. So instead of um, me telling you, you know, each note by note, I, I would rather play it through slowly so you can hear the rhythmical side of things and uh, the chords, I'm going to call them out. So we have the C sharp. Then we go down to B, we do it for two times, and then we have another slide up to the E power chord, getting back to C sharp. Um, and then again, once going to the uh, B chord, B power chord. So slowly it would be like this, the, the first ryth rhythmical figure. Okay, so we play this rhythmical figure for three times all together. Now, fourth time, we play just like we did in the beginning. So C sharp chord for three times, then the fourth time we go uh, down to the B and then we have this ending which goes so we go here to the E power chord and then we have this which is 7 9 on the A string bend it up bring it down and then back to 7 so the fourth time would be like this One more time. Okay, so all together the first intro part goes like this, a little bit faster. Now we go into the next riff, which is also going to be used uh, during the um, sections and also in the verses, uh, so it goes like this, up to speed.
All right, so here we're going to be playing everything on the low E string most of the time. And uh, the riff itself, like I said, you know, we're, instead of playing straight eighth notes, we're going to be playing them in uh, swing feel. So the first note is longer, the second note is shorter. And also we're going to be including some, some triplets here. So it starts off on the C sharp notes, ninth frets on the low E string. So we go two times, then we have a pull off, or you can pick each every note. Uh, so the pull off is from 12 to 9, and it's a triplet. And then we play again uh, two eighth notes. Okay, so we have this. Alright, so we play it for three times. Then we go down to the B note, 7th fret, and we play it two times. 7 on A string, back to 7 on low E. So all together this first part slowly goes like this. And here I'm doing like a rolling motion, you know, using one finger to play on both strings. So from 7 on low E to the A string and back to 7 on low E. Then we repeat the first part again. And then here we have another ending which is... So we go to the A string playing 9th frets to 11. And again you can pick every note or you can use a hammer-on. So we play 9 to 11, then we pick it two more times, uh, then play 9 again, and then back to 12 on the low E string. So the second part of this riff goes like this again slowly. Okay, now combining two, both parts, goes like this slowly. Okay, so after this riff a sort of interlude, we go into the verses, and the first verse goes like this. Okay, so here what we do, we play a rhythmical figure, first part of the verse, with palm muted, and uh, we play um, staying on the C sharp power chord or you can just play the uh, the notes on the ninth fret of the low E string and we have like I said a rhythmical figure which is one more time okay so we have these two eighth notes but played in the swing feel and also combining them with the triplet so it's just like the previous riff uh, uh, rhythmically, but we just playing on one note, and then we combine this with the previous riff, uh, which we divide into two. So we have the first part, which is, then we repeat again the verse uh, rhythmical figure on the C sharp power chord, and then we combine that with the second part of the previous riff, which is. Okay, so that's um, the, um, the riff during the verses. Then we go into the chorus, and chorus goes like this. Okay, so for the chorus, we have again the rhythmical figure just like we did uh, for the previous two riffs, which is, uh, you know, the interlude and also playing during uh, the verses. But here we have a little bit of palm muting uh, work going on, and what I mean by that is uh, we have to open up at certain points uh, during this riff. So we go to A power chord. And we have, uh, again, like I said, this rhythmical figure, but we play with the palm muting. So the first one is we open it up, then we play the triplet palm muted, 
and then we play again open uh, two eighth notes then we play palm muted sorry so we skip one eighth note playing it palm muted and then we open up uh, for the last two eighth notes before playing the triplet so instead of me um, explaining it like that I would rather play um, play it slower with the, the palm mute and also with the open uh, chord and uh, you know just listen to it carefully and you'll be able to spot when I when I palm mute and when I don't and this we do the first time when we play this so it goes like this slowly then we go to E chord, E power chord and we have this um, again the same rhythmical figure so this is the first part so we outline the chord then we go into the palm mute uh, playing on the seventh fret of the A string and then we have so it's a hammer on pull off seven nine seven on the A string and then staying on the seventh fret again playing uh, the uh, palm mute it's uh, eight, eight uh, triplets then we have this part which is we play again sort of outlining the chord and then we have a slide from 9 to 11 uh, on the A string picking 9 on D back to 11 on A string slide back down to 9 pull off to 7 and then we have uh, last time hammer on pull off 797 on the A string again okay so I'm gonna play the whole riff again slowly so you can see how these things are tied together just wanted to explain what we what we are doing here um, so again this second part when we go to the E chord it goes like this all right so this is the first the second part of the first um, of the chorus riff after we go uh, from the A power chord so we basically repeat this for three times second time when we play it uh, we are strictly palm muting when we play on the A so we have and the second part when we go to the E chord we play it exactly the same as we did the first time then the third time we um, play again on the A sh on the A chord, and we do it like the first time. So we have again uh, palm mutes and also open opening the chord. So we have again. Sorry, one more time. And then instead of going to E chord, we go to the B chord and we play. All right, so. B chord and we play exactly the same figure rhythmically as we did on the A but instead of playing two bars we play one bar and then in the end we have you know just staccato uh, meaning short notes uh, on uh, the uh, B chord so uh, again I'm gonna play uh, the whole chorus slowly all of the parts together uh, just pay attention to the um, you know to the things that I've said so it goes like this slowly Okay, so that was the chorus. After that, we get back to playing verse number two which is exactly the same as we did for ver verse number one. After that we play the chorus, again it's exactly the same thing. And then we go into the uh, next part of the song, which goes like this. Okay, so it starts off with uh, just playing the B power chord for two bars, so eight, eight um, beats all together. 
and then we go into this next riff, which is uh, which is played like that. So we we have triplets here all the way through, and uh, we start off uh, on the ninth fret of the low E string. Then we have um, so two triplets here. Then we have hammer on from nine to eleven on uh, the A string, and then we continue continue with the triplets on the ninth fret. Okay, so uh, let me play it one more time. So this is the first part, then the second part. So again, we play triplets here on the ninth fret, uh, two triplets. And then we have, just like we did previously, uh, we ha we had this uh, this lick. So it's again on the A string, nine to eleven. Back to nine and then to uh, to twelve on the low E string. Then we repeat the first part, which is okay, and then second alternate ending. Actually, it's the third one. It's going to be like this. Okay, so we have again triplets, two triplets on the low E string ninth fret, and then we have uh, this lick, which is nine on D. Then we go to A string 11 to 9. Then we have 12 on low E, back to 9 on A, and again low E 12. So we have this part. Uh, alternatively, you can play it like this with some slides. So instead of playing 12 here on the low E string, you can play everything on the A string. So you go 9 on D, then 11 to 9 on the A, and then you slide down to the 7th fret, and then another pull off from uh, 9 to 7 on the A string, so you have this. Okay, so it's up to you whichever way you want to use. The first one, you are picking each every note, uh, but uh, for the second variation you, uh, you are having, you are not picking each note and you have uh, slides and also pull-offs. So, you know, it's up to you. And uh, basically that's the riff that we have. And uh, let me play it through one more time slowly, uh, starting with the B power chord. So it goes like this, slow. Everything is palm muted except for when we play these uh, little endings and also these uh, things. Okay, so after we've played this riff, we then go into the solo and I'm going to show you what the uh, rhythm guitar is doing during the solo. So it goes like this. Okay, so here what we have, we start off with the uh, uh, B power chord, let it in ring out the first time for uh, almost uh, almost two bars, but in the end of the second bar on the fourth beat we pick it one more time. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay, and then we have this figure. So it's a pull off from 10 to 9, it's a triplet and then we just stay on the 9th fret picking two, uh, it's uh, actually four eighth notes but again in this specific rhythm that we have the first note is longer, the second is shorter. Uh, and then after that we have another triplet from 10 to 9 pull off and picking the 9th fret again and actually we have uh, two of these uh, rhythmical figures uh, next to each other. So second and third time. Third time is when we get to the second bar and uh, we're pulling off 10 to 9 
uh, picking again and then in the end of bar two we have another uh, triplet which is so we pick the 10th fret pull off to nine and then slide to the seventh fret so you know again just listen to it and uh, i'll play it slowly and you'll be able to to pick it up so again one more time goes like this the first part Then after this first part we play the B power chord again and we play this time for a bar and a half so six beats all together then we have A power chord going to E power chord so we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three. okay this transition and then we play again the riff with the pull-offs Then we repeat the first part, which is exactly the same, so we stay on the B power chord for two bars and in the end of the uh, uh, second bar, on the fourth beat, we again pick it, just like we did the first time. And then we have again the rhythmical figure. And then the last time what we have is we have the B power chord for one bar, so four beats, one, two, three, four. Then we go to A power chord we play it for two beats one, two, and then we have uh, palm muted two triplets on the E power chord okay and then we're going to the next riff so this is the rhythmical figure the rhythm guitar during the uh, solo all right so after the solo we go into the next section and we're gonna divide it into two parts they're practically the same with the exception of that during the second part we add another rhythmical figure which I'm gonna get to in a moment but uh, the first part goes like this okay so here what we do we're gonna be playing just power chords uh, starting with the B power chord going to C sharp everything is palm muted and also because of the um, swing feel we get this rhythm like i said you know two eighth notes the first one is longer second one is shorter so we have this okay we play this uh, figure for two bars and starts off with the b power chord like i said uh, after you finished uh, the uh, second bar staying on the c sharp you then get back again to the b chord and repeating the same thing basically now second time when we play this riff we have another uh, a trill going on there which is happening on the um, uh, on the A string between 7 and 9 frets okay and we do it um, in the second bar so we have this okay so as previous riff we start off with the B power chord going to C sharp and then when we get to the second bar staying on the C sharp chord on the third and fourth, fourth beats you include the trill okay so that's the first part of this section the second uh, part of the section is it's practically ex exactly the same but uh, we change uh, the um, rhythmical pattern here so it goes like this the first time Okay, so as you can see, it's exactly the same thing um, chordally. So we start with uh, B going to C sharp, and then we include this uh, this uh, rhythm. Once and then second time we play just we did just like we did pre on uh, the previous section. So it's. So you alternate between these two rhythmical figures, okay? And uh, when we play this fourth time, in the end, we're going to be including the trill, which is uh, exactly the same on the A string between 7 and 9 frets, okay? So after the... Uh just like that, just like we did previously, but it's uh, a little bit uh, later on. Okay, so after we've played this section, 
In the very end, before we get back to playing the chorus, we have uh, this transition sort of flick, which goes like this. So, uh, let me play it slower, and uh, first I'm going to explain it. So, uh, we have a hammer-on from 9 to 11 on uh, the A string. Triplets here, two triplets. Then we do the same on the D string. And then we have, so it's nine on G string, then two um, notes on the 11th fret of the D string. We play it twice, and then we have, so it's a hammer on pull off nine, 11, nine on the G string. Then we play 11 to nine on D, 11 to nine on the A string. So all together. So that's the ending of this section. And then after that we go into the chorus. Which is exactly the same as we did uh, earlier. After we've played the chorus, we, uh, we then go into the, uh, this riff, which is... This one. And then we, we have uh, the outro, which is exactly the same as the intro. So we have again. After this part, we go into the A chord and we play. So staying uh, on the A chord for one bar, uh, picking it uh, in quarter notes three times. Then we have uh, two eighth notes going to B chord, B power chord, playing exactly the same rhythmical figure. And then we pick the um, B power chord to C sharp and we slide out. So one more time. And that's how we end the song. All right, so we have one more section left out, which is the solo. So uh, let's take a listen to the solo up to speed. Then we're going to come back and break it down. Let's check it out. So we're going to break up this solo into licks and phrases, and the first phrase goes like this. So we have here slide into the 11th fret on the G string, and also you can use uh, like a rake, so uh, muting the A and the D, sh and, uh, the D strings, and then sliding into this 11th fret on the G string. Then we have 9, back to 11 again. Then we have on the B string, 12th fret, bend up and bring it down. Then we have on the G string, bending the 11th fret, bring it down, 9. Then back to 11 again, 11 on D. Then we have a double stop here on the 9th frets on the G and the B strings. And then we have pull off hammer on 11 to 9 to 11 on uh, the uh, D string. So one more time slowly the whole thing. Adding some vibrato here, then the next part goes like this. So uh, going up scale. Uh, the uh, C sharp minor pentatonic. So starting from the uh, ninth fret on the D string, going to nine to eleven. Same on the G. Then we have nine to twelve on the B string. 
9 on high E, then we bend the 12th fret on the B string and we go right into another bend on, which is on the 14th fret on the G string. We bend it up a full step, so let me just play uh, this last lick and goes like this. So after we go into the bend on the 14th fret on the G string, you bend it full step and then you bend a little more, so it's about step and a half. Then you um, release the uh, bend and uh, pull off to 12, going to 13 on B, and this happens quite quickly. So we have like that, okay? Then we do the same thing, uh, just like what we did previously with the bend on the 14th fret on the B string. So you bend up again, full step, and then a little bit more, and uh, release, pull off to 12 to 13, and then we have two hammer-ons here from 12 to 14, like grace notes, so it's quick. Uh, on the 14th fret on the B string. Then we have uh, this... Um, uh, fast lick which goes so we have if I break it down slowly going 12 14 16 on the B string then we do the same on high E 12 14 16 and then you pull off to back to 14 to 12 and then we have 16 on the B string and we repeat this for three times, okay? And then you have... Sorry. So it's 12 on uh, the high E string. And then you go on B, pull off uh, 16, 14, 12. And then on the G we have 14 to 13. And uh, adding some of product here. So, so far we got this um, from the bends on the 14th fret. Then we go into, so it's a bend on the high E string, 17th fret, bend up, then you pick it one more time and add some vibrato. Next lick. So we have here a unison bend, um, so that means we bend the uh, B string on the 17th fret, while at the same time uh, fretting 14 on the high E string. And we pick this unison bend a few times, then we go into... So we do the same thing, but we move now two frets up, so 16 on, on high E, and we bend in 19th frets on uh, the B string, and you play the unison bend once, and then you, as you, as you bend the string like that, hold the bend, and then add with your pinky 19th frets on a high E string, and then release it again so you have the unison bend. So all together will be like this. And you pick it one more time, adding some <coughs> excuse me, adding some vibrato here. Okay. So so far we got this from the uh, 17 frets on the high E string. Then the next part goes like this. So uh, here we have this slick sliding into 11 frets on uh, the G string. Then we pick 12 on B, back to 11 on G. Then we have 14 on high E, back to G 11 fret. Then on high E we have 12 uh, pull off to 11, 12 on B, 11 on G. And then we kind of repeat it again, so we have 14 on high E, 11 on uh, G, then pull off 12 to 11 on high E, 12 on B, 11 on G, then we go to 14 on B string, 11 on G. So this is like a pedal tone here. Ok, 
Okay, one more time, slowly. And then in the end we have this. So it's on a high E string, you pick 12th fret, pull off to 11, slide down to the 9th fret, and then you have uh, pull off 11 to 9 on the, on the high E string, 12 on B, and then you bend it up full step. So you have this. So if I tied this with the previous lick, slowly it's going to be like this. So here as we stay on the 12th fret on the B string for a full bar, almost two bars, so we have a gradual, it's a bend and gradual release and then in the end we have so it's on the G string, bend up 11th fret, bring it down, then go 9 to 11 on D, so we have this. Adding some vibrato and then in the end we have just a trill between 9 frets and 11 on the D string. Okay, so now I'm gonna play the whole solo slowly, all of the licks together. It goes like this. guys so that was it for this lesson hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a thumbs up also comment share subscribe if you're new to my channel don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar related stuff in the meantime i'll see you again take it easy and as always let the force be with you